welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today you guys asked me what I thought about the new Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. So I wanted to kind of give you a demo and tell you my thoughts, tell you the combination that I love. And I also wanted to come check in at the end of a very long day and let you guys see what this what these really look like at the end of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. These are the Cover Effects Drops. These are $44. I believe you can get them on Sephora and the Cover Effects website. I will link them below. I'm in the color N25 for reference and this is more of a summer shade. I could wear N20 in the winter time, but N25 is perfect when I have a little bit of color. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first tell you, well, obviously you can see the packaging. They're super small. It's 0.5 fluid ounces, which seems like uh, not a lot for $44, but actually you only use two to four drops of this product. So it does work out and I, I do feel like they will last you a very long time just because you mix it with other products so you don't have to use a lot. So I'm sure you have seen it is just a little dropper. You squeeze it and the product comes out. I know you guys have probably seen a million reviews on it, but I wanted to show you what has worked and what doesn't work for me. So before we get into the demo, I want to mention a few things that didn't work, a few combos that I tried and I didn't love, and then we'll go into the demo and I will show you my favorite way to use these cover drops, so or custom cover drops. I'm telling you, the name is crazy. So first things first, first things first on the realist. Okay, I love that song, and I'm in a goofy mood. These two brushes do not work. My preferred method for the cover drops, custom cover drops, I can't say it, is definitely a beauty blender. I tried it with the F80 by Sigma and my favorite foundation brush, which is the Delium 957 brush. This brush works for everything except these custom cover drops. I did it. I did it without messing up. Um, but I don't like to use this product with a brush. So I just really love how it works with the Beauty Blender. I did try one time to use it with my fingers. And I kind of do my fingers and the Beauty Blender. You will see in the demo what I'm talking about. But I definitely prefer the Beauty Blender over the brushes. And then the first way I tried this, whenever I originally heard about these, Cover Effects did send me this so for review. But when I first got them, I thought I want to try it with a BB cream because that gives you some coverage with the BB cream and then added coverage with the Cover Effects drops. And this is the fullest coverage that I had was with the Garnier BB cream, but it was kind of heavy. So I don't think it was the custom cover drops that made it heavy. This BB cream is a little bit on the heavier side for a BB cream. And I just didn't, I loved the coverage, but it was a little too heavy for my liking. So it definitely wasn't the perfect combo for me. And then the next thing I tried, because that was so heavy, I was like, oh, how how lightweight with the Hangover RX by Too Faced Primer B with the Cover Effects Drops. And while it was super lightweight, even with four drops, I didn't get the coverage that I wanted. I wanted kind of a medium coverage, medium to full coverage. Um, and it was super lightweight. And I do think that I like this product for everyday wear. If I'm not filming or if I'm just running some errands, I don't want a lot of coverage. I would use this combo because it did look really pretty and dewy and luminous and it looked like my skin, but you know, better. And so I did like this because it was super lightweight, but it was also light coverage, even with four drops. And then the next product I use, and I did demo this product as a primer a couple of weeks ago. It is the Gleam by Melanie Mills. It's the Body Radiance. And I don't hear a lot of talk about this on YouTube. It's a really cool product. I'm in the shade Light Gold. I got this as a press sample. And I don't, I don't have anything else from this Gleam line. But it basically just gives you a really pretty goldy highlighted look. 
and I thought that that would look really pretty with those cover drops and I didn't really like it at all. It Because it's that gold, if I use it with a regular foundation for some reason, it works as a primer, but mixed in with the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops, I kind of looked like I had jaundice. So let's go ahead and jump in to my very favorite way to wear these and I am going to demo that for you. Okay, let's get into the demo real quick. My favorite combination starts out with this primer. I don't even really know what it is. It treats, blurs, and protects. It's by Murad, and I just have a little sample of it. It's the Invisibler Perfecting Shield, and it does have SPF 30 in it, which I like. It's weird. It's it's a clear texture, different. It's a weird consistency and a weird texture, and to be quite honest, I don't like to put it on my face, <laughs> but it does. It blurs out your pores really well um like it says on there it also has some kind of um treatment in it too so it's kind of like skincare as well and i don't know i just really like it i like this product when i am not even wearing any makeup for the day like but for sure with the cover effects the drops i have to have this primer because if i don't they really sink into my pores and I'm not a fan of that. Um, I have really bigger pores in the center of my face here, but not only that, it even sinks into pores over here and I don't even have really problems with that usually. So definitely keep that in mind. P.S. I haven't done my hair yet, so it's looking a mess. I figured while I was heating up my curling iron, I would do this little demo. I love it when people demo products or foundations or whatever. You know, it, I just, I like to see the product in action. So, next, I'm going to take two Cover Effects pro products. And I know that sounds crazy because y'all are like, dang, is this cover, is this sponsored by Cover Effects? No, I don't do sponsored videos. But this, I swear, this is the best product to use with the Cover Effects drops that I've tried. And I started thinking about it and I was like, well, Cover Effects probably tested it with their primers. So it makes sense that it works out so perfectly, just like the ingredients and the, the texture of everything. It's just everything melts together really well with this primer. Now this is the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer. I also have the Mattifying Primer and they both work equally well. It just depends on what you need in your foundation. So I have, I have oily skin in the T-zone, which I'm gonna show you how I kind of combat that using this. But on the sides of my cheeks, they are rather dry. So I love the illuminating one and I just squirt a little bit out like that, that much. And I love having a really pretty illuminated face in the summertime. Actually, I love it all the time. But another thing, and I never hear people talk about this, but I always shake my bottle up because if I don't, it can kind of get funky when it drips out. So keep that in mind too. But I'm actually going to take three drops as, as well. One, two, three. Actually, let's do four. I want a little bit more coverage today. And that's the cool thing about it is you can really customize it. That's probably why, why they're called co custom cover drops. Like, custom get it okay anyway I self tan last night so you just really you just mix it in your hand and I'm using my viewfinder as or my monitor as a mirror right now which is not gonna work that's annoying to have the mirror in there but I really haven't quite figured out how to do like get ready with me's or these kind of demo things with this new angle so I apologize but what I like to do is I put this on my face and I kind of blend it in around my face with my finger and then I go in with the beauty blender I'm telling you that's the only way I like these I know it seems like they're super high maintenance but if you find what you like for it if you find what works for you you will love this product so like I said, I'm just going to take my beauty blender and pounce it in there. And uh, did I tell y'all, I'm in the shade N25. But 
like I was saying, if you find what works for you, I really think you will like this product. It's just, it takes a little, it takes a minute to really figure out what works. If you have a favorite primer or something like that, um, you know, definitely try it with that. What's cool is you can get a lighter shade or a darker shade to mix with other foundations as well. That way, like if you get a darker one, you can mix it with your lighter winter shade foundations. And that's really cool. Look how easy that blends in. What I love about this, specifically with this primer, is it looks like my skin. Okay, I can't even believe it. You can still see a little bit of imperfections down here, even with four drops. So I don't think it's maximum coverage with this primer, but it's beautiful. It does not look cakey at all. You can see a little bit of um, illumination there, and um, I love it. Okay, there is one more key thing that I really prefer when using these custom cover drops, and that is to set it with a specific product. And I went ahead off camera and applied a little bit of concealer under my eyes, just like the smallest amount. I use the Naked Skin Concealer. But this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, and it is absolutely amazing. I just take it on my beauty blender, and place it right here where my pores get bigger and it just blurs out your pores and sets that concealer and sets that um foundation right there and it really brightens up honestly look at that it brightens up under your eye okay so here is the finished look it is we'll see what time it is it is 10 50 and i won't be back home for a very long time but i do want to check in at the end of the day to show you guys how this wears so i'll see you here in just a little bit well, i'm not good on camera today yeah you're so handsome. my makeup hadn't even touched up oh look i got some powder i can freshen you up real quick okay. look at this mess in the background it's okay Okay, it is 6.53, so it has been eight hours now, and I wanted to show you guys my face. It is pretty dewy looking. It could be, it could be called oily. <laughs> I was going to say luminous, but pretty much. I'm pretty oily in the T-zone. That generally happens to me, especially in the hotter months, which it's not hot today, but it's real humid outside. So that does happen to me. I have not touched up my makeup whatsoever today. We have been in and out all day outside the majority of the day. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And I want to kind of touch it up and show you on film how, how easy it is to touch up. I'm just going to take the It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Pores, the same one that we used earlier on. This is a Delium 959 brush, which I actually really like this for touching up. I know it's huge. You wouldn't want to take something like this in your bag, but you could use a blotting sheet or whatever. But all you do is basically just put it right there in the center of your face and where you're oily and kind of press it in. And these, co these cover drops really do touch up quite well. So you see that just took let me put a little bit more on my forehead. That just took a little bit of the shine away. Like I said, you could use, sorry, I'm using, I know it's annoying when people use their monitor as a mirror, but that's what I'm using right now. Um, so you could also, like I said, use just a blotting sheet to do that or in a pinch, I've used toilet paper. So like I said, it does generally happen with most foundations, but you can see after eight hours, it still looks really good. The only thing I will say is down here on my chin, I am seeing it break up a little bit and around my nose. Now this is definitely not the first time I've worn this foundation and I can tell by about the six to eight hour mark, it starts breaking down. So that is one thing to keep in mind. If you have tried these covered effects, custom covered drops, let me know what your favorite combo is in the comments because you know, let us all know. Let us know if it worked 
for you, what combinations didn't work, what you absolutely love, because I think it's super cool to kind of be a scientist and mix different things together. So I definitely do recommend these. I think it's such an awesome concept and you just have to kind of tweak it and find what really works for you, depending on your skin type, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.